This book is called Fire Trucks by Valerie Bowden. Fire Trucks. This is our table of contents. Remember, a table of contents tells us what's going to be on all the pages of the book. So if I just wanted to learn about early fire trucks, I would go to page 20. Sometimes people need help. They might be hurt or they might be lost. When people need help putting out a fire, a fire truck might come to help them. Trucks zoom down the street to reach fires quickly. A fire truck is an emergency vehicle. An emergency vehicle is something such as a car, helicopter, or truck that is used to bring people like police, police officers and firefighters to accidents or fires. It is used to put out fires. Even though fire trucks are big, they can go very fast. This is a picture of fire trucks and how they looked very different 400 years ago. The first fire trucks were used about 400 years ago. They were tanks of water pulled by people or by horses. Now a tank is a large container used for holding liquid. About 100 years ago, people built the first fire trucks with motors. Today, most fire trucks are red, yellow, or green. They have flashing lights and loud sirens. Sirens are horns that make a loud warning noise. The lights and sirens warn other drivers to move out of the way. Fire trucks bright colors help people see them coming. Different kinds of fire trucks carry different things. Ladder trucks have a tall ladder attached to the top. Pumper trucks have pumps for spraying water. Tanker trucks have huge tanks filled with water. Many fire trucks today carry ladders on top and hoses inside. When there is a fire, an alarm goes off at the fire station. The firefighters put on their protective clothes and jump into the fire trucks. One firefighter drives each truck. Other firefighters sit next to or behind the driver. A dispatcher tells the firefighters where to go. Firefighters are people whose job it is to put out fires. Firefighters practice getting their gear on very quickly. Firefighters wear helmets and heavy gloves when using a hose. When the fire trucks get to the fire, some firefighters hook up the hoses. They can hook up the hoses to a fire hydrant or to a tank on the pumper or tanker truck. The firefighters begin spraying water on the fire. Some firefighters climb ladders to put out fires in tall buildings. They can rescue people trapped in buildings too. Rescue means to save. Firefighters wear air masks to help them breathe inside burning buildings. When firefighters cannot enter through doors, they use ladders. Firefighters keep their trucks clean and shiny. After the fire is out, the firefighters drive the fire trucks back to the station. They wash the trucks and check their gear. They make sure the fire trucks are ready for the next emergency. The picture shows firefighters in the 1860s, a steam powered pump truck and 1950s fire engine. The first fire trucks were just big tanks of water. People had to pump the water by hand to get it out of the tank. Then people made pumps that were powered by steam. These pumps worked faster. They were more powerful too. They could spray more water out of hoses. Here's our glossary. These were the words that were highlighted throughout the book that the author thought maybe you might not understand and need to know. A dispatcher is a person whose job it is to get phone calls about emergencies and then send out rescue vehicles. An emergency is something bad that happens suddenly, such as a car accident or a fire. A fire hydrant is a water pipe that sticks out of the ground. Firefighters can attach a hose to it. Motors, machines that make things such as cars move. 
protective, able to keep people safe. This side of the book has more stories you can read about fire engines and more websites you can go to to learn more about fire trucks. And remember the index shows where these words were throughout the story so you can find the pages.